and gentlemen, we regret to announce that owing to an indisposition, Catherine Searles will be replaced by her understudy, Miss Eleanor Stilwell. All right. Where is she? Just a minute. All right, let's go places. Places, come on, move. Bring it up. Great Catherine Searles. You're through. Get out. Goodbye, Miss Searles. There are no goodbyes in show business, not even after 10 years. As for Catherine Searles, there'd been no word. Oh, except for an occasional item in a gossip column, a, a release from a sanitarium, arrested for drunk driving. The summer theater she had come to was only a few miles from a cottage I'd rented. It was run by Eli Jack, a talented young director and a very good friend of mine. For reasons of my own, I had to find out whether the great Searles was really through. A rehearsal was as good a place as any to decide. And it was important that I do. I thought I wasn't able to please you. Everything I said and everything I did. All the time I, I thought you wanted for me to go. You know, I've been a complete fool giving you that impression. No. No, George. I'm the one being the fool. All right, hold it. Perhaps you see this as a comedy, Miss Searles. Well, I'm sorry it struck you that way. I certainly never meant to be funny. Well, that's hard to believe. From where I was standing, there were a million laughs. Well, then, thought we'd discuss it somewhere part What's of the matter with right here? Well, I think it'd be wiser. Wiser? That sounds like an ultimatum. Merely a suggestion. Well, I'm not asking for suggestions. I'm the director here. And I say that unless you stop batting your eyelashes like Cedar Barrow, we're in the soup. Anything else? Just that I don't want you raising your voice to me again. Well, perhaps I don't appreciate this running display of bad manners. I'm so sorry. Under the guise of genius. Who needs you it? You do, Miss Searles, or you wouldn't be here. Perhaps so. But that doesn't mean I'm staying. Please, please, not now. Please. You mustn't let him do this to you. Oh, you have eyes. You saw what just happened. I'm not defending him. But if he's at fault, why let it rob you of everything? It's no use. I'm not fighting him any longer. You mean you can always go back to the Searles Actors Workshop? Well, there are much worse things than teaching. We're not just talking about any actress. We're talking about you, someone who wants to Oh, please, please, please. I want to lie down. 
And you are walking out? I'm afraid so. I just don't have it any longer. You believe that? I don't know what I believe at this point. Except that letting you convince me to come up here was a mistake. Letting me convince you? Well, it was your confidence in me. That hasn't changed. That's what makes it so difficult. Because the only other reason that I came up here was the hope that you might benefit. If that's your only reason for staying, I'd rather you wouldn't. I thought the theater still meant something to you. It means everything to me. Always has. But after seeing your name in lights and everything that goes with it, and losing it all over a bottle of scotch. You haven't had a drink since I've known you. No, I haven't, because the pressure's been off. I created my own little world when I started the school. And I... Oh, Pam, I'm just not up to it. Because of one director who's mad at the world. I can't blame him. Eli Jack is out to make his own career. Doesn't want it fouled up by an actress who passed out on opening night. That's ancient history. Oh, I'm not sure. Wouldn't you like to know, Catherine? Isn't that why you have to stay? Catherine Searle stayed on, and my interest in her grew. I watched her every performance from out front. I was so impressed by what I saw that I was convinced she should play the lead in the new play I had written. Eli Jack had read it and was quite anxious to do it. Congratulations, Eli. I mean, you really grown. It was imaginative. It was so, 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 so. Quit stalling me. Am I going to do your play or not? That's what I like most about you. You're subtle. I haven't got time. Yes or no, Mr. Playwright? After the night, how could I say no, Mr. Director? Okay. Let's have a drink on that, okay. huh? Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, you should be. It was your debut. Half a page. But you did it beautifully. And you watch your next part in the one after that. You mustn't build my hopes, Catherine. Why not? You built mine. I can't wait to get started. Broadway in October. Broadway at last. Who do you see in the lead? Catherine. Searles? Uh-huh. You mean for trial? Well, of course. Oh, listen, uh, Jason, she only gave this performance because I beat it out of her. Eli. This, your ego would, would fill this entire thing. This woman is magic. She was magic long before you ever came around. When she's sober, you She yeah. was sober tonight. Listen, Jason, this is summer theater. One short step and a comeback trail. Who knows how she'll react under real pressure? Oh, but it could be exciting. It might be worth finding out. I don't even know whether she'd be interested or not. She's got a school somewhere. Anybody that talented has to be interested. Oh, look, Catherine! It is your play. Speak to her. Come on. Mr. Jack, yeah. will you tell Pam I'm waiting for her? Hey, Pam, your date's out there. Don't you believe in doors, Mr. Jack? Oh, I've seen girls before. Not in my room, you haven't, so please wait outside. Who's looking at it? There's an old uh, friend of yours outside, wants to say hello. Oh, I didn't know I had any old friends left. Jason Thomas. Oh, my old stage manager. Well, he's a playwright now, and a very important playwright. He's got two successes under his belt already. Yes, I know. What's on his mind? A new play. Scheduled for Broadway in the fall. He wants you for it. <laughs> he wants both of us for it. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, look, this is important to me. It's important to both of us. I'm not interested. That's too bad. 
I thought it might be worth the battle. Oh, no. Hmm. Well, uh, no skin off my nose. If you change your mind, let me know, will you? And this is it. Everything you wanted to happen. Yes. And I'm frightened. How can you be after tonight? Doing an old play 50 miles from nowhere is a far cry from an opening in New York. What can you lose by talking to the man? You can always refuse the part. Well, that's true. But I'd feel a whole lot better if there was something in it for both of us. Oh. Catherine, really? I mean it. A Broadway show would really put you in business. He didn't even notice me. Well, he would if you were at the cottage when he gets there. But my date, he's local society. That's too bad you can't get out of it. After all, I wasn't even invited. Oh. Well, go on. Keep your date. <laughs> I'm waiting in the car. I... Anything wrong? Not really, but Miss Searle's asked me to do something for her. At 11 o'clock at night, tell her to I go I don't see to... how I can get out of it. Simple, let's just leave. You don't understand. I'm not going with you. Just like that? After letting me hang around all this time? Just like that. Well, so be... get lost. decide anything, Catherine, until you read it. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to put in. No, I'm glad you did. You see, that's what I was leading up to. Asking myself, please, just read it. It would be rather pointless. Aren't you going to wash it down? No, thanks. Please, please don't abstain on my account. I couldn't be tempted to touch anything stronger than root beer. <laughs> What do you say, Miss Sells? Take you a couple of hours to read it. Still seems pointless. Not to me. Miss Sells, I... I was privileged to see you do, my dear. In the fall of 46. You were better tonight than you were then. Oh. It's true. If you don't feel it's right for you, you can always refuse to... And if it is right, we can break it in here at the playhouse, wind up the season with it. All right. But that's all I promise. To read it. Good night, Captain. Good night. Oh, the devil with it. What did you say? I didn't say anything. Oh, I wish I'd never gotten involved. I bet it's good. The play. Possibly. By the way, where did you ever find a bottle this time of night? Oh, one of the actors' private collection. I thought they'd want a drink. You're the living end. Aren't you dying to read it? I'm going to bed. How can you? He practically got down on his knees. Oh, playwrights love to dramatize things. No, he meant it. He really wants you for it. Triangle, a new play by Jason Thomas. I'm going to bed. If you're too tired, let me read it to you. I know you won't be able to sleep. You know too much. Oh, Pam. Really?
the curtain rises on the New England studio of Laura Thatcher, which serves as a workroom for the successful novelist. Laura is now alone on stage. She waits for the door to close as her left hand reaches up to her cheek where Ellen kissed her. Then she lowers her hand, picks up the gun, releases the catch before bringing it up to her temple. In great anguish, she whispers, God, forgive me. Then she fires. She slumps over the desk and dies. Lights dim the curtain. That's quite a reading, my gal. It's quite a play. Fair. Better than that? You're still scared, aren't you? Yes, I'm still scared. Because now we both know how right I am for this part. How terribly right. Now that I could probably do it better than anybody in the business. Oh, what I could do with that part. Then what's stopping you? I'll tell you what's stopping me. That night at the Broadhurst. And all the nights that led up to it. And the years of degradation and misery that followed it. I never, never want to be tempted again. I just can't face it. I, I, I'm not strong enough. I don't believe it. You don't believe it? No. Come here. I want to show you. Stocking case. Only from the outside. Now you know how right I am for this part. You've actually contended many, many times. Whenever I'm tempted to take a drink, and by tempted, I think I'll die if I don't have a drink. I just look at this. And I know I'd rather die. It's a bit dramatic. But it works. So don't ask me to take the part. What you really mean is you're through. Either you waste away teaching acting in some one-horse town, or you... <sighs> some choice. If that's all I had to look forward to, I'd give up right now. It's my life, Pam. All I can do is my best. Oh, I didn't mean it that way, Catherine. But I can't bear to see you throw away a chance like this. If you do, your life will never be the same because you'll know you had a second chance and you didn't have the guts to take it. If I only could. If I only could. You could try. You're right. As usual. I can try. A week before my play was to go into rehearsal, the part of Catherine's daughter still hadn't been cast. Catherine had asked me to try to persuade Eli Jack on Pam's behalf. I said I'd think it over. I knew she'd try it herself. All right, everyone, that's all for tonight. Thank you. See you tomorrow morning at 9. Okay? Very good. Good night. Eli. I wish you could have heard your first cold reading of the part. She was enormous. Look, I've got nothing against the kid. She's a, a nice little build on her. She's talented, Eli. Okay, that too, but she's green. She hasn't got the experience to play Ellen. Look, to be quite honest with you, I'm going to have my hands full worrying about you. Why should I take on another load? Because it's important to me. Because I could fall flat on my face and wind up with nothing. How would her coming through soften the blow? I don't know, but it would. You don't know or you don't want to know? Which is it? What do you mean, Eli? Well, just this. I'm 
fed to the teeth with this neurotic dependency of you. Just a minute, since you brought it up, let's spell the whole thing out. Because Jason's play is too important to me and to too many other people to have it kicked under the carpet. But that isn't my intention. I was simply suggesting... That I contribute to this delusion of you. Well, I'm only interested in helping someone with ability. Is that such a crime? Yes, if she's your crutch, your built-in consolation prize. You want me to help you, not her. But you haven't got the guts to admit it. Well, that may be. Please don't deny me this, Eli. Please. Okay. But if she's not right during the trial... She will be. She will be. Good night. For the next four weeks, Eli Jack rehearsed the small cast. It was a battle royal. As Catherine gained confidence and strength, she was like a... Oh, like a spirited racehorse. Hard to handle and magnificent to watch. Shall I wait for you, Pam? Don't bother, dear. I've got to see about my costume. Idiot. You still here? I'd like to speak with you, Eli. Can it wait, honey? I'm a bit beat. It all depends on how important this show is to you. It's not easy to say that. Well, come on, baby. It's a tight little company. Whatever affects you affects the show. That's just it. It's not myself I'm talking about. Well, who is it then? Our leading lady, I'm afraid. Catherine? She's a bit edgy, but that's this crazy schedule we're on. It isn't the schedule, Eli. She's in bad shape. Are you kidding? Did you see her tonight? She was great. I know it. You know it. But she doesn't. Well, the audience will tell her opening night. If she ever gets that far. What are you trying to tell me? She's drinking again. I don't believe it. She's never been stronger. Oh, where do you think she's getting that strength? I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it. She's been a mother to me. I've been living with it. I hear her in the other room at 3 a.m. guzzling away when she thinks I'm asleep. But why? Over what? The show, her part. Her fear is that she's letting everybody down. Well, I told you she's doing fine, just fine. And I'll tell her if it'll do any good. But if it won't, she's out. Eli, that's unreasonable. After all, she's got a stake in this, too. That's her problem. I've got a show to put on. But you know what she did before, Eli. You don't want to start her off in another... Listen, I haven't here. got time to think about that. We're less than 48 hours from opening. I'm going to have it out with her right now. No, Eli! If you do, you'll set her right off. Your only chance is not to say a word, and maybe she'll pull herself through. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Only I don't like the odds. Why did I let Jason talk me to him? Why? I knew it. I told him. I told him. Two nights away. Who can I get if she conks out? Who, who knows the part? Nobody except me, of course. Postponement now would look as if the show were in trouble. You. I've cued her so much, I know the lines almost as well as she does. Of course, I'd be a little young to play it as a mother. She'll be all right. You'll see, you'll see. She'll be all right. If you're lucky, it'll blow over. I just thought you ought to know about it. You're right. You've got to prepare for a roof falling in. Not much planning you can do against catastrophe. Hey, wait a minute. 
a crazy idea, I know, but I did cover you with Betty, and she's a reliable understudy. You mean you aren't pleased with me? No, no, I don't mean at all. What I... What I'm driving at is I can get Jason to do some rewrites. We can change Laura from the girl's mother to the oldest sister. Oh, I don't think I'd want the responsibility. You don't have to want it, kid. That's the way it might have to be. But she thinks that I can't She won't you... think anything. She won't know. We'll rehearse quietly. Nobody will be in on it but the rest of the cast, three people and myself. Yeah. That's the way it is. That's the way it might have to be. Uh, thank you. Me wondering. Oh, just a little session with our director. <laughs> Eli? I had a feeling he'd get around to it. He did. Well, as long as you can keep things under control. Don't worry about that part of it. Well, then there's no problem. If he doesn't get too belligerent in the romance department, keep him on the string. He's going to be a big man, Mr. Jack. I know it. That's what hurts. I don't understand. Well, when he got tired throwing passes at me. Oh, what's the difference? Go on, go on, I want to hear. He isn't happy with the show. <laughs> That's his way, darling. You take it from me, you're doing a fine job. He implied that about me. You mean he's worried about me? Why, I'll never know. Oh, don't blame him. He's got a job to do. But I honestly thought I was coming along, that I... that I was making real progress. And all the time he was simply humoring me. You could be wrong, Catherine. I think you're marvelous in the part. I will be. I have to be. No, I'm sorry, I told you. You had to. close to opening night. It seemed to be going very well. Then I noticed Eli Jack, the professional warrior. What do you think, Eli? I'm not thinking, I'm watching. That's what I mean. You like what you see? What I see, uh, but that's all. 
And what? Later, please. Eli, if something's wrong, I'd like to know what it is, huh? Please? Please. All right, my friend, you ask. What do you think? You see, darling, Alan agrees, and what's good enough for Alan is good enough for me. All right, you let's have it. Not easy, man. I know how you feel about it. Captain. That's right. I thought you liked it. I said I liked what I saw. It's what I know that I don't like. Oh, Eli, please, don't be cute with me. All huh? right. All right. Our leading lady's ready to crack up. Ba boom. God, come on. All oh, right, I meant she covers it nicely, sure. She may even come through for me. But don't be surprised if she caves in before opening night. She's back in the bottle, Jason. Yeah. I don't believe it. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, where did you get a crazy idea like that? That little girl up there who has to listen to her yeah. guzzling at 3 o'clock in the morning. That's where. No, I... Go ask her. No. She's the only one that has to live with her. Go ask her. No! Keep your voice down. Catherine Searles. Although I couldn't... I didn't want to believe what Eli had told me. Nevertheless, doubts began to creep into my mind. I had to find out. Too much was at stake. I think it's perfectly splendid that you and Alan have so much in common. You're not just saying it. Now, whatever would induce me to do a thing like that. I don't know. Maybe I'm remembering how you always try to make things easier for me. Well, why shouldn't I, Ellen? You're my daughter. The fact is, I'm very happy for you. For both of you. I had to find out, so I, I did something I'll be ashamed of for the rest of my life. I searched Catherine's dressing room, hoping not to find a bottle. Please, darling. I have lots to do. All right, then. Good night. that curtain. You were more than two seconds late. Snap it up. second act dragged a bit, but if you do as well tomorrow night, I won't have any complaints. You don't seem too happy. What do you want, a champagne party? Oh. I'm sorry. I'm tired, I guess. I guess we're all tired. All right, that's all for tonight. Thank you. See you here tomorrow at 2. Good night. Good night. Now, Tony, leave that work light on, will you, please? Well, uh, Pam, I want to go over a few things with you. I'm better. You better stick around, too. Okay. Would it help if I stayed, Eli? 
But no, honey, you go home and get a good night's rest. And remember, you haven't got anything to worry about. Oh, thanks, Eli. Don't wait up for me. No. Captain, uh, do you want me to walk you back to your cottage? No. No, thanks, Jason. Yourself. I'm not going to let us get trapped. What do you mean? Protection, Jason. Protectionville. If the worst comes to the worst, I know how to do the play without Catherine. Oh, you must be out of your mind. Catherine is the play. Her role is, you mean. All we have to do is change the part to an older sister. Oh, come on, will you go? Then Pam please? can play it. She knows all the lines. Oh, this all is the ridiculous takes are some changes. I've been working on it all night myself. You what? Uh, yeah. See, now, look, I don't like this kind of business. I don't like it. I won't have it. Do you think I want it? The question is, do we open tomorrow night or don't we? you two will start with the opening scene. You better remember Pam's your older sister, not your mother. But I don't get it. Nobody's asking you to. Just play up, will you please? But, but what? Do you want to be an understudy all your life? What about Catherine? Honey, I haven't wanted to tell you, but Catherine's been drinking again. Eli just wants to protect the show in case... You know. None of you know what I've been going through these past weeks. She must be drinking as much now as she did ten years ago. You catch? All right. Let's start from the top. Right. You uh, check for rewrites, will you please? Eli, I mean, this is ridiculous. There is no play if there is no mother-daughter relationship. Jason, 24 hours. Curtain. Ellen, you know what time it is? Yeah, I I'm sorry. You know you're not allowed out this late. It won't happen again. I hope not. Well, well. Oh, and Eli is becoming more of a problem than I thought. Are you all right, dear? How do I look? 
about as tired as the rest of us. And look closer and breathe deeply. Why, Catherine, what have you got here? Guess. I can't say that I blame you. I could probably do with a drink myself. And be my guest. I was just making conversation. Uh, that's very understanding of you. Oh, Pam. What did I ever do to you? Ah, oh, now. Pull yourself together. If this will get you through the opening, I'm all for it. I seem to remember telling you that this never got me through anything. That it's what killed me at the Broadhurst. In that case? In that case, it might do the same for me here. Mm. What's that supposed to mean? You tell me, or would you rather tell Eli? Okay, let's get it over with. Is that all you have to say? What do you want? A written confession? No. But I did imagine that you'd have some qualms, some feeling of regret. Oh, no, not at three in the morning. Save that for church, will you? You're unbelievable. I don't think you have a conscience. Have you forgotten I put you in this show business? And you don't think I did anything for you? For me? Yes. Like blasting you out of that dream world. Like giving a washed up bag a reason to try again. And what do you do? You revert to type. And why? Because without someone wet nursing you around the clock, you're lost. So don't count on me for that anymore. I can't bear it. Get out. Get out. So you can get back to this? Yes. So I can get back to this. Cheers. you've been celebrating a little prematurely. No, I was just... Yes, I know. You were just quietly pouring my show down the drain like you've been doing for the last month. That's not true. Tonight's the first. Because the pressure's been too much. Well, the much. pressure's off, kid. For you it is. But I wouldn't put you in a show now. Eli! Give me a million dollars. Take it easy, will you? What for? She's no good. I give her a chance to get up off the floor and she boots us. For everyone. I'll be all right by curtain time, I promise. I promise you. Well, I got news for you, kid. We're doing the show without you because I covered myself. Eva. And you know how? By lining up people who respect this business, who are willing to go on double rehearsal schedules if it means saving the show. Eva. That's all right, Jason. I already know. And if we come through this in one piece, you can thank Pam Gates. I didn't exactly choose her for the role, you know, you and your... Oh, forget me for a moment. And forget this. And don't forget Jason's written a play. It's a very good play. She can't even do it justice. She's a good... She may not tear the house down, but she'll be sober. But so will I be. I swear it. Catherine. Catherine, you mean it. Yes. What's the matter with you? Are you going to believe it? Now, look, Pam is all wrong. She'll never be right, Eli. But I am. I am Laura, Jason. I'll give you a performance you never dreamed of. If you just give me a chance. You just give me a chance. I'll do anything you want, I swear it. I swear you can lock me in a room until age 30. You're not afraid. worth the effort. The play is, Eli. I say she does it. I'm only the director around here. You sweat it out. Oh, 
Why are you doing this for me, Jason? Well, because once you were very, very important in the theater. And I think you can be again. <laughs> really, I'm being very selfish, you see. With you, I might just have a good play. Without you, I've got nothing. You won't be sorry, Jason. You won't be sorry. had gone as well as I could have hoped for. After a shaky start, Catherine settled down and really played the part with conviction and an almost unbearable intensity. In fact, she was giving the performance of her life. The fact is, I'm... I'm very happy for you. For both of you. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. I'll see you in the morning. Of course. Be right along. Wait. Mother, Ellen, don't be so melodramatic. It's just that there might be some prowlers, and I thought it better. Are you sure? Of course, I'm sure. Now run along with Ellen. I'd like to believe that. Please, please, darling. I've got lots to do. All right. Good night. Hurry, 
hurry, hurry. My place is for the first curtain call, please. First curtain call. That was a real gun, Mr. Jack. He knocked out one of our spots. Come on. Get up there. Let's go. All right, curtain. Changed her mind. I guess they did. Yeah. She must have known they were with her, huh? Do you think she'll ever try it again? No. Never in a million years.